first second video of our Revenue tutorial the thing we will do is to get to create a git directory as you can see why do we need to create a git directory it's because uh, because we want to uh, record every step of our progress in this tutorial so as you can see it's not git directory yet there is no dot git directory so what we're gonna do is we're gonna need that we need a git directory in this directory uh yeah we need empty git directory so if we run git status now it will tell us that there's no we are still in branch master and there's no commits yet next thing is i wanna use a branch called main instead of master so we're now in branch main and then i will write a file get a new file so that i can ignore node modules directory uh, this status and then i will add uh, get ignore file and a readme file in the html file package log json file and then also package json file see how it is already uh, st stage now we commit it then i will say initial commit as a commit message so now we have one commit initial commit uh yeah that's it right yeah yeah that's it for now now we have a git repository to record our progress in this small tutorial and then the next thing to do is I want, we want to create a configuration file so if we see here in we read in the elephant documentation we will see here there's a section called configuration it, it is an optional feature but uh, in my experience better to have a, a file a configuration file and the default name for configuration file is elephant.js what we want to do here is that we want to tell elephant where is our input directory where is our, our output directory as a default value our input directory if we don't define it is uh, the root directory current directory and the output is site so you see that if we run npx elephant like before what uh, Alphabet will do is it will try to find markdown file, HTML file from current directory because the input, the default input directory is current directory, the root directory of our project, and then the output is uh, underscore site. So we will find the markdown HTML file in current directory and then we'll write it, a, it will write it in underscore site directory, as you can see here. So what I usually do is that I create a separate directory for the uh, our content and I would like to call it SRC. So I want to tell them to use that as to use SRC directory as uh, as a source directory or our input directory. So what we do here is that we can just copy this. We'll go back to the configuration section copy this thing paste it and then tell them that please find the content files in src directory and write it into this directory so we don't want it to be we don't want it to be underscore side directory so let's just delete the underscore side directory and then run fnt npx fnt again it will say it wrote zero files because there's no src directory yet so there's no content inside it right so we're gonna move and make src directory and move in this html with the md into src directory now as you can see there are two files there and then if you run authentic again it will find that file those files and write it into this directory as you can see now because there is no file uh, in a search directory when we run Alfendi 
and we run infinity so it wrote nothing so if we run this now what will happen it will write two files and write it into this directory so if you see this directory now that's what happened it's also applied to if we run and serve now infinity will find this directory and use it as the root directory for our uh, we can say uh, server of our Fenty uh, site so if we open the course 8080 that's what's gonna happen yeah work with me yes just as expected one thing that you need to be aware of is that is that uh, let's say we you move src read me out of src directory so now there's only file index.html right so if you run elephant again because when i first use elephant i can expect that there will be only one file in this directory but that's not what happened here elephant doesn't do any like cleaning when you run it again so if we run it again like this uh, it says as it's writing index this index html so if we uh, reload it so like that like that but when I first learned authentic you can expect that readme is not there anymore but it still is so if we see inside this directory you see readme is still there from the previous or previous execution of Elfendi so yeah Elfendi doesn't do any you know like sync synchronize like that so as you can see now what I usually do is just every time I run off NT no what I do actually is that I change it and this JSON and then we change it to server like this and edit it into remove uh, RF this npx fenty serve and if you want to go There's only index HTML. Same thing if I want to build. Yeah, you get the idea. So, this is for the second video of our tutorial. On to the next one.